What is up guys, Lamnon Gaming here, bringing you my first commentary on some Black Ops footage. Uh, I'm playing Radiation, uh, I think I went 30 and 3 on this map, and I'm using a Commando. And what do you know, BOOM! A claymore. Ah, uh, gosh, don't y'all hate Claymores? I, I can't stand them, I just can't stand Claymores, especially in FFA. Um, it's not like anybody's sniping, so you really don't need that extra protection, but people are dumb and, you know, put Claymores in random places. Um, this is, like I said, this is my first commentary in this game. Um, camp in the corner, what do you know? That was my first commentary on, on Black Ops. Um, I haven't played Black Ops in a long time, to be honest. I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2. Um, but, uh, well, I haven't been playing that much, but I've been playing Modern Warfare 2. I stopped playing Black Ops probably a few months ago. I got completely fed up with this game. Um, just some, you know, just cheap stuff left and right. And I, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, when you, there's kills that you should have had and there's part times when you shouldn't have died. Um, but I, man, just had a lot of those. Uh, I, used to, I used to play a lot of game battles too with uh, Black Ops. Me and a good friend of mine, um, we did a game battles team for Black Ops and actually did really, really good. Nate. Boom. Uh, we actually did really good. Um, we were like 16 0 at one point and, you know, we were beating people in the top 10 like literally like nothing. We were 2 0 and like, you know, beating them in two games. And, uh, you know, we just had like a, a, string, a weird losing streak to a team that wasn't even ranked. We got cocky on uh, Nuketown Capture the Flag. And we, you know, dominated every single per, uh, team we had played in Nuketown CTF. And like, oh, we got this. You know what I mean? These guys are only 2-0. and oh. And sure enough, man, we just got slapped uh, on that game. And it was pretty embarrassing. And then uh, after that first loss, we just, you know, start, we lost three more. Then we just got completely fed up. Because me and my friend, we're, we're kind of perfectionists. We, like, we hate to lose. Uh, we really cared, cared about our record. And uh, we just stopped playing to be honest we quit the team and then you know just stopped playing black ops in general we went back to modern warfare 2 played that didn't play any game battles in it although we do have a game battles team but we just haven't played any uh, matches and uh just played modern warfare 2 just puzzle matches i'm um, working on our gun skill dude camped in the window that's awesome <laughs> and and we just started playing modern warfare 2 and, and ditched uh black ops completely but you know guess what game's coming out really soon actually in what three days no four days um, I guess three days if you want to count, you know, Monday night not, or Tuesday night a day considering it came out Monday night. But yeah, it's coming out soon, Modern Warfare 3, and I'm so, so pumped. I uh, finally get, you know, get to get back into my competitive gameplay, uh, competitive gaming, I mean, and um, yeah. Uh, man, I, I, you, I can't wait. So ecstatic. Uh, we usually have like a competition uh, at our Walmart, and I think I've won like the past two. But um, those are always fun, you know, especially because, you know, the game's on the line and, you know, it's only, it's like one, one loss elimination. And, you know, in our town, there's like a lot of, like, everybody thinks they're amazing at COD. Um, and I'm not going to be rude and say that they're not, but, uh, you know, uh, usually don't see that everybody is amazing whenever you play with them. But, yeah, I'm pretty pumped for that. Uh, like I said, this is my first commentary. Uh, and this is uh, just me playing FFA, like I said. And uh, at least for FFA here, I'm running Commando with extended mags. And I'm using, you know, just basically a running gun type ta tactic. I don't want to stay in the same place because, um, one, I'm camping and I don't like camping. If you don't like campers, then like this video. Um, but, I'm, you know, you're not going to win an FFA match by camping. There's just no way. Um, it's free for all. It's, you know, you don't have other people on your team running out and getting kills or, you know, capturing the objective. Um, it's, it's just you and you only. You're a team of one. And... Yeah, I don't understand why people camp sometimes in FFA. Usually people that camp don't ever win unless you're camping and, you know, um, you know, boosting each other up. Like, you're killing another dude, that, like, at the backside of the map, which is completely dumb. So if you don't like that either, then like this video. Um, but, yeah, you're not going to win, you know, just standing still in one place camping. You've got to run and gun. Here I'm running Commando. It's still the max. The only reason I'm running it is because I feel really comfortable with the Commando. Oh, yeah, I'm running a 3, 8, and 11 UAV. Um... Oh, Blackbird and uh, a dogs. But yeah, you're not going to win an FFA match just by camping. Uh, like I said here, I'm running Commando Extended Mags. The only reason I'm running that is because I just feel really comfortable with the Commando. I like it. It's a really good gun. I'm pretty steady. I'm at least one of the steadiest guns in, other than the Galil Silence. Um, it's probably one of, the, one of the steadiest guns in this game. Um, but I'm using that just because I feel comfortable with it. But if you're planning to do a run and gun tactic, uh, if I were you, I would use, you know, an SMG. Um, whether that be a Spectre or AK-74U or just any, um, or MP5K if something you like that. Uh, I, I would suggest for you to use a, a light machine gun. Not a light, whoa, whoa, not a light machine gun. I mean a submachine gun, I'm sorry. Uh, I would suggest you use a, a submachine gun. Um, 
just because of the, the ability it has to, to do damage at close range. And most of the time, you see, you're going to be at shots within that range. I just killed that guy when, between you and him. Um, and, you know, if, if you try to take a guy out with a SMG from across the map, um, it's just not very smart. Especially if they have an assault rifle. And um, you're not going to do much damage from across the map. Unless you play in Modern Warfare 2 and use an ump, which has, like, the range of a dang sniper rifle. But yeah, you're just not going to be able to do that much damage with that. I, so I would suggest you using, you know, a, a SMG on this map. Preferably an AK-74U, which is probably the best SMG in this map. Or uh, in this game, I mean. Um, but yeah, and like I said, I'm running, um, I like UAV. That's why I'm running it. Uh, 3811. Uh, just because you know where people are at, like, more or less. And it gives you, you know, a little bit of edge. And it keeps you, it helps that run and gun aspect. Um, because, you know, you don't have to worry, you know. If a guy's in one corner... Uh, the map then say you can run over there but you know you can still be aware because you know there's a red dot over there and you know he's over there and you can still you know play your running gun tactic tactic and get ready to drop shot um, but yeah this is my first commentary um, it's a really short gameplay um, hopefully you know the next one's gonna be a little bit longer but yeah this is my first commentary um, so don't be too harsh if you have any questions if you want to see uh, anything special just you know rate uh, not rate it. I mean put a comment uh, I will be doing a thing called Fruitfall Fridays and uh, I'm gonna let you guys pick what I play with and, you know, um, I'll have more information on that in my next commentary. But until then, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep playing hard.